Justin, it's Fallout 4 time, and look at this, everybody's rushing to get to their local GameStop and Walmart and FYE and Blockbuster Video to purchase this hot new property from Bethesda. Yeah, that lady's taking her baby. She doesn't want her to miss a moment. And that's all the pre-order bonuses. No, this is Fallout 4. This is the beginning of Fallout 4. Uh, you may see some story beats here, but don't worry, no spoilers, because this is about 20 minutes into the game. Justin, you and I have been playing this game for like a week or so, uh, yeah. and I'm, I'm curious to hear your thoughts about it. Um, Can you imagine how angry the artists were when they found out they had to do trees? What? 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 Trees? We don't, we don't need tree technology. What, is, what even is a leaf? Uh-oh, that's not. That's, that's not, not what great. you want. It's less than ideal. We're gonna skip like the next uh, hour of story stuff because I don't I don't want to spoil it for folks. But uh, let's just touch on like a lot of the things that happen in Fallout, namely a lot of stabbing mole rats to get their meat and their yeah. teeth and their claws and stuff. Uh, wh wh what do you think of, uh, of of Fallout 4? Obviously, it's it's been a long time coming, uh, and I feel like even though it's been a long time coming, people don't know like a whole lot about it. Uh, I've really been enjoying it. Uh, there's, uh, you know, it's like, I think like a lot of Bethesda things, it's a staggering amount of content. Right. That often, that is like, uh, overwhelming in, in its scope and scale. Um, and not any more, I, I would say this, the only thing I would say is if you're looking for a massive, gigantic evolution beyond Fallout 3, I don't think gameplay wise it's that it's very much uh, you know the next fallout game but if you want to get back in i mean it's it's there for you and it's really good um i would agree with you i think there are certain evolutions that have carried over from skyrim um that that this sort of fallout uh model has really benefited from namely you can sprint and God, it's crazy that that is a... Uh... That's weird. Wait, you couldn't sprint before? No, dog. That's crazy. It drains your AP meter, which I think is smart. So like if you sprint around a whole bunch and you end up in a big fight, you can't use VATS. Uh, the VATS system is back. I would say like in general, I, I, I think there's just been some... God, everybody's head just falls completely off when you shoot them. Yeah, uh, man, it gets a little rough. I use pistols with headshots a lot. It's like, sometimes it's just like a carnival. Yeah, I don't even like, have the perk that makes them explode and they just constantly yeah, explode. Just exploding. Um, I, I would say there have been certain just sort of uh, like feel improvements uh, that just like make it feel like maybe the best the best feeling game to play that, that Bethesda's ever made. Like, it's just fun to play. Like, it feels actually like a decent shooter, which I don't think you could say about past Fallout games. And obviously it's been more of a shooter hybrid than any game they've ever made. Um, and I don't know, just like the, the gunplay feels a lot uh, tighter you know, and you have I, a lot more control over it. I almost never fire around if I'm not in bats. Oh, really? Interesting. Yeah, I almost never do. Cause I, I, for me, ammo is so scarce. I will say that's uh, another thing they've nailed is, is more than any game they've made and any Fallout game they've made this idea of like conservation is like on point. Like I yeah. feel like every bullet I shoot is a valuable commodity. Even though I'm like rocking like six different guns using six different types of ammo. You almost have to do that by the way, if you want to like stay alive. I set that room on fire. Almost blew myself up with that tank. Yeah. Um, in, in order to like stay alive, you really have to like treat every stim pack and every bullet as a, a really precious resource. And that actually plays into the uh, sort of uh, theme of the game, which I, I feel like uh, more than any Fallout game is this idea of like saving the world and actually like rebuilding the world and putting some like some like blood, sweat, and tears into fixing fixing this apocalypse. Really, really briefly, can you? Say, that's like the only bobblehead I found. Uh, maybe one other. Uh, oh God! Real, real briefly, I'm just not. I guess I miss it. I don't know. Uh, real briefly, can you talk about that? F like what what actually like rebuilding the. Uh, little township things do, and then also like why you would want to do it because I'm still right. not super. Well, okay, so so Justin's talking about there are these settlements that are all over the world. There's there's dozens of them, and all of them have these people with these demands. Usually raiders are messing their shit up or uh, super mutants, and they have demands. You have to go and basically liberate them, and then they will fight for your cause for the Minutemen. Uh, and then you can also uh, help out their their different settlements by building things using the game's new uh, 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 customization and actual like building settlement options. Like you can build uh, turrets, and you can build buildings, and you can build uh, uh, stations to help you build armor and weapons, uh, and basically outfit these places to be like, you know, depots that you can use uh you can fast travel to and use to equip yourself and use this little home bases and there's there's some story stuff that goes into that like the more of those you have the stronger your minutemen get 
Um, um, uh, sometimes raiders will like attack your settlements and the better defended they are, uh, the better chance they have of like surviving. Um, you can also call in those settlements to support you. You can get, find a flare gun at a certain point in the game and then you can use that flare gun to call in help from settlements and they will actually come fight for you. Um, so there's actually a lot of different implications. Um, how about that power fist? You found that thing yet? No, I, I don't do any of that stuff. Oh, dude, it's the best. I would have um, scrapped it instantly. Oh, no, don't do that. Um, so, so yeah, that is a, that's a big part of the game. I feel like um, there, there's some really memorable side quests in the game, um, and I, I don't want to spoil them, but if you ever get uh, uh, the Silver Shroud radio signal, go do that side quest as quickly as you can. It's my yeah, favorite it's, thing in the game. It's the best one. So it's, it's one of my favorite things in any Bethesda I would, I would, game. I would, I would also say this. Like, don't, don't, there's a lot of stuff. Like, if you feel you're not grooving on something, like, just stop. Like just there's lots of other there's things a ton to of shit in the game. Like yeah. I failed on a few things. Normally I wouldn't do that. Normally I have to finish every quest line. But here there have been things like I'm just not enjoying it that much, so I just stopped doing it. This is me outfitting my like first settlement I found, and it's mainly my my home base. That's one of the things I think it struggles with. And there's actually a perk that helps you sort of connect the different settlements you have. But like I don't feel any desire to. Uh, customize and build up any settlement other than this first one because like I put a lot of work into it you can see there's some heuristics there at the top that like determine how stable they are uh, and if you could like outfit it to the max like if you can get all its food situation handled and you assign somebody to these different crops so that they cultivate it and add to your food stash um, and build these these guard posts and assign people to those and build turrets to boost its defense and fight off raider attacks um, then, then its happiness increases. Still not 100% sure what that does, but like, I'm not gonna do that for all of the settlements in the game because that's crazy. Like, yeah, it's it, insane. I don't know why you would. It takes resources. Like, you actually have to find stuff and and uh, like load it into your your uh, your home base so that you can use it to do stuff. There, I had no idea what I was doing. There's actually a lot of stuff you can do. Like, you can build circuitry. Did you just and, build a flamethrower machine? Yeah, and it's like building. It's like burning my lamp to death. Good work. Griffin. Did I love wiring stuff. For some reason, that's very appealing to me, the idea that you have to wire things directly to a generator. Yeah, and you can, like, what I was supposed to do there is, like, wire that to, like, a foot pedal or, like, a trip wire, and then they set off the trip wire and it burns up the thing. This is the uh, customization tools in the game, and I, I, on one hand, I really like it because it's smart. You use, every time you level up, you get a point, and you can use that point to unlock a tier of a perk, assuming that you have enough of that stat. So like each different point on this grid represents the one to 10 points you can have in the special stats. Um, and the more that you have in a certain stat, the more of those perks that you can unlock. Or if you don't want to unlock a perk, you can just unlock another point of that stat. So like if I have, I have four points in endurance, that means I can unlock four of the different endurance uh, uh, skills. Uh, or I can put another point into endurance and then I can unlock five of the, the skills in endurance. It's kind of like a, actually look, now that I'm saying it out loud, kind of a complicated system to understand. It, it, it is, uh, it's visual, but it's visually represented, which is really helpful. It yeah. is a little overwhelming though. I'm often not quite sure what the best thing for me to do is, which I guess leads <sighs> to the my customizability. Big, my bigger problem is I don't actually feel like I've specialized all that much. Like I actually feel yeah. like I'm at about level 30 now and I feel like I can do basically anything. I can unlock any lock, I can unlock any terminal, I can beat anybody in a gunfight. I'm actually good at melee, my defense is really high. Uh, this is a cool thing, I was just like running around and then this gigantic what swan boss attacked me. Yeah, uh, this guy messed my shit up um, until I figured out how to beat You're, you're um, not doing much damage there, my friend. No, this touches on like my favorite thing about the game, which is just there's, there's, it's jam packed, especially once you get to the, like the city center of Boston, which is where this is. Like every five feet, there's just like a crazy thing. Like there's just like, and, and again, I don't want to get into too much of it. I don't want to spoil too much of it, but like it is, it is, I don't think it's the biggest game they've made. Like I feel like Skyrim is maybe geographically a little bit bigger. It's definitely the densest. Yeah. Like once, um, the, the map is actually a little bit hard to parse. Man, I got wrecked. Map's a little bit hard to parse um, in the in those city centers, but like in terms of just like walking around and looking around, there's just there's never a, a lack of things to do. Uh, you saw uh, in the Vats menu one of my other favorite things. Oh, that's where you got that. Yeah. Uh, one of my other favorite things is that uh, criticals are now something you trigger. You decide when you're going to trigger. It's your so critical. smart. Yeah, and it actually gives luck some use. Uh, because that's powered by luck. The more uh, hits you get, the the more it increases based on your luck. You can also <laughs> kill people using. Have you gotten the 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 uh, the junk jet? No. Uh, junk jet's really great. This 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 is just sort of demonstrating the dumb stuff that you can do because it is a Bethesda game. And there's a lot of dumb stuff you can do. You use the junk jet and you pile all your garbage into it, and you can kill people with that garbage. 
<laughs> it's pretty <laughs> wonderful. Like it's it's um, it's we haven't even touched on the story or anything like that because again I don't want to spoil it. Uh, I think it's sort of a slow burn until you reach a certain point in the game and then it asks you to do some of the, the craziest moral choices that I've ever seen asked of you in a, a Bethesda game before. It's something I'm, I'm still sort of struggling with. I haven't finished the game. Um, but, but yeah, the, the narrative takes a while to build, but once it does, it goes to some pretty wild places. Um, but, yeah, it's... it's. Did you I, just drop a nuke in the middle of Diamond City? I may have dropped a nuke in the middle of Diamond City. I just wanted to show that you could do it. Um, but you shouldn't. But you shouldn't. And I didn't say this. It's just, you know, I wanted to show off for the people at home. Um, Not Takahashi. Yeah, Takahashi. The Got. noodle bot. No. Bye, noodle bot. You're done, skis. Like, it's, I, I've, I've really been enjoying it a whole lot. Um, and it certainly has some, I'm playing this on PS4. This PS4 footage, you may notice some, like, frame rate issues. It definitely has some technical issues. Um, and uh, it, it still has some some quirks and some problems that have dragged down <laughs> other. I look like a male prostitute, which is also really great. Uh, it has some of the problems that have plagued other Fallout games and other Bethesda games in the past, but um, it's it's the most fun game to play in in maybe any Bethesda game that they've they've ever made. Um, and you can do really dumb stuff like this. 